Hi, sweet love. I am Simply Jordan, and welcome to this video. First, let me just address, yes, I know it has been far too long since I said that, and I'm sorry. You know life, it be life -ing. I know y'all know that, so forgive me, but I am back. If you are a regular, if you have been a subscriber, thank you so much for still sticking with me. And if you are new, hi, I am Simply Jordan, and welcome to my channel. You know, I realized that on my Instagram, which you should be following me on if you're not, I am Simply Jordan, that I talk about how much my favorite color is yellow. And I don't have a yellow look on here, which seemed pretty ridiculous. So that's how I decided to make my comeback with a nice, bright yellow vibe. We got some gloss, some dewy skin. I want to have a little fun and add some freckles, just as a little added touch. But yeah, I just want to come back let you guys know I'm still here I'm doing okay but of course if you like how this turned out definitely keep watching to see how I came up with it and let's just get into it starting with the brows I know I haven't been here in a while and brows are usually done off camera but I figured why not show you the whole thing of course this is the Morphe micro brow pencil in Java outlining that bottom and top shape and then once I get that all filled in I'll start with upward strokes in the front and just fill in sparse areas towards the middle and back it helps it look more natural and I just kind of like the look and feel of it not too much product not too heavy and it looks really natural clean up on aisle brow yes I said it and yes you thought it was funny don't act like you didn't but this is the makeup revolution concealer in C13 with a flat just concealer brush from elf I'm using that to just clean up my brows make it look a little more crisp I like it because it is close to my foundation shade so it looks again really natural and I'm slightly using it as a base but I'm gonna use another lighter base for when I get to the actual lid color and it's easy because say if I didn't want to do anything else, I can still have a really nice polished brow. And just using this Warrior 2 Color Yoded from the Juvia's Place brand, just using that as a transition blending color, going into the Ace Beauty Slice of Paradise palette. This is the color Persimmon. And I'm using that with a smaller fluffy brush to kind of blend into my crease. I wanted to bring the color up. I didn't want it to be too dark in the crease. So it's kind of like a lighter orange. And I just take that right underneath that first color and then right underneath that from that same palette slice of paradise, the color passion fruit, I think it was, and taking an even smaller but still fluffy brush and blending that into the outer half of my crease. I didn't want it to be too dark again, so I'm just taking those colors and blending it out. It's kind of washed out. I'm gonna adjust that later, but we'll get to that part. With the P. Louise uh, Blank Canvas, eyeshadow base I'm taking that on kind of like a fluffy concealer brush it's not super flat but it's something like if I want to blend out under my eyes um, I will use that but I like using sponges under my eyes sometimes but I'm just using that and laying down the foundation because we are using a very bright yellow shadow or rather a pigment And that pigment would be from the J. LaRue Cosmetics brand. This is in the color Lemon Drop. It is a bright yellow with gold flecks in it. You don't really see the flecks on camera, but you definitely see them in person. It is a beautiful color. They have another matte color called Canary, but I like this one. I like the kind of gold shimmer that's in it. And I'm just taking that and sitting it right over top of that P. Louise base to make sure that I really, really make sure that color stands out. I'm going kind of right above it to blend it a little bit into that crease, but I because I put those other two colors down, it's blending out a lot easier. Here I'm just going into the James Charles palette by Morphe in the color Cold James. I wanted to actually deepen my crease just a little bit because the yellow on its own wasn't really sitting the way I needed it to so I'm just taking a small fluffy brush and just blending that into my crease and my outer V I'm color correcting here this is the black radiance color corrector in salmon and my lashes are actually from dodo lashes this is in a style I want to say f301 um, I'll definitely Put the link down in the description and i really love this color corrector it seems to work perfectly with my skin when i'm using more medium coverage foundations i like to color correct just to kind of perfect my skin just a little bit more i don't have super hyperpigmentation or dark circles under my eyes but it's just an extra precaution to make sure i get a really smooth as close to flawless base as possible and i'm taking a semi-damp sponge to blend that out 
and my foundation today is actually the makeup forever hd foundation i believe i use the color y513 i think it's called warm amber but i really love this foundation i haven't reached for it in a while but it's a beautiful foundation blended that out with the real technique insta pop cheek brush it's slightly smaller than their face brush it's still a great brush something that i reach for i love using on myself on clients that i've done it's a beautiful brush to add to your collection i get mine from ulta i think they're about 10 bucks which is definitely inexpensive for a face brush you know they can get really pricey but i'm all for if you can save money and still get good quality by all means do it i'm going to add another layer of this foundation around my mouth area because that's where i seem to be a little bit darker that's pretty common in women of color that around our mouth and chin areas where we get a little darker so i add a little more coverage there just to give a more flawless complexion For concealer and contour today, we're going with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and Butterscotch. And for the cream contour, we're going to go with Morphe Dimension Effect Contour Stick in Effect 18. I didn't want a super dark contour today, so this one is a little lighter than my Juvia's Place one. And I'm taking, of course, a damp sponge. What I did, honestly, with this, I took the Morphe Luminating or Luminous Setting Spray and used that rather than water to damp my sponge and I actually really like how it turned out. It gave me more of a radiant finish than a flat matte would be. And the water would just kind of let it sit as is. But I kind of noticed a small difference in using that setting spray to damp my sponge versus water or just doing it dry. And it looks really, really seamless. It's pretty and I like that a lot. Um, and then of course I'm using an angled brush to blend up my cream contour. I go up towards my cheek versus dragging it down. And I'm just going around the perimeter of my face with that brush to blend out my cream contour. And rather than adding the contour to my nose straight from the stick, I took a small angled shadow brush and put it on the brush and then applied it to my nose. I like a little softer nose contour. This is still something that I'm still getting used to. So I wanted to try it this way and I liked it because it's not as intense. And to set my concealer, this is the Fenty Pro Filter Setting Powder and I believe it's banana. Um, I put maybe a little more powder than I usually would. Usually I'll set it, but I wanted to do a very, very slight bake. I didn't OD on the powder, but I want to make sure I brighten that under eye for sure. And I'm taking a damp sponge, not a super damp sponge, but a damp sponge to set that all in place. And then I'm going into my Black Radiance True Complexion Setting Powder in Honeymoon to set the rest of my foundation and to dust off that extra setting powder from under my eyes. bronzing my face today with the morphe glamour bronze face and body bronzer and phenom again this is a little lighter than the anastasia one that i usually use i didn't want to go super dark or super cool with my bronzer and contour today so i'm just using that again with this is actually from the jacqueline hill face set that she has with morphe and using that just to add that warmth back to my face because i did a cover a little bit of my cream contour up with my setting powder highlighting today with the mac cosmetics classic mineralized skin finish in gold deposit i've had this for a while and it is still one of my favorite favorite highlighting powders what i've noticed is that i don't super od on highlight y'all know me i like to go i want et in outer space to see me but there's a way still to accomplish that without having a streak of just glitter on your face so I'm just hitting up those key parts with that brush and then going back into the Warrior 2 palette. This is now in Zama. This is technically an eyeshadow palette, but I love using these colors for blushes. It's that color right in the middle. It's not too coral, not too pink, not too orange. It's just a nice mix of a warm blush. And I take everything up into kind of like my temple to bring the face up. And this is the Luminous Setting Spray that I was talking about from Morphe. I like this spray. It's really pretty. The finish is great when it dries. The only thing is I feel like it takes a while to fully dry down. It feels slightly sticky to the touch when it's dried down, but once that fades, it's perfect. 
and then going back into that orange color from the James Charles palette Cold James and sweeping that under my lower lash line just to round out the eye all together. I kind of wish I brought the yellow underneath there, but I still like the way the look turned out. And this is a mascara. I think this is the Ulta one just to add a light coat onto my lower lashes to help bring those out a little more and again round out the overall look. Lining and semi filling in my lips today with the NYX Lip Lingerie Push Up Lipstick in After Hours. This is a plumping formula, but you can't really feel it that much. And I did slightly, very, very slightly overdraw my lips just to give them a more kind of fuller pouty look. And I'm taking that and filling the outer corners of my lips. I love this color. It is just a rich chocolate brown. And this lip gloss, it's a new one from Maybelline, the Lip Lifter. It's like a wet gloss look, but it still gives you a lot of color. This is in the color Stone. Again, you can find both of these lip products at Ulta that's where I get mine from and I really love this combination I just this is my first time using that lip gloss and I like it a lot this little freckles thing this was a last minute decision I wanted to just add I thought the look needed just one extra little pop of extra this so this is what I did. I used a Kat Von D tattoo liner in Mad Max Brown just to add some freckles right under my eyes. And look how cute that is. I'm sorry, but she's really cute and I'm here for her. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys again so, so much for watching this video. To all of my subscribers, my new ones, my old ones, thank you so much for coming along with me on this ride. Leave your comments below if you like the look, other things you'd like to see from me. Just know that you are loved and you are appreciated. I promise you will see me again real soon. Until then, bye-bye.